Hello again, race fans, and welcome back to the channel. A little while back, we did a video on the stock rubber Carrera tires. Uh, you know, the tires that come on your brand new Carrera slot car. Uh, just to demonstrate that uh, they're not as bad as you may have been led to believe. Uh, and in that video, we performed a test where we ran a couple cars with the stock tires, and then we switched over to urethane tires and uh, ran them again, and then compared the fast lap times. And as it turns out, the performance between the two tires is extremely close, uh, given an edge, a very slight edge, to the urethane tire. Uh, and we ask for your feedback on that. You know, essentially, uh, does your experience show you the same thing? Do you agree with our test? Do you disagree with our test? And probably the most common comment that, common comment, yeah, that's right. Uh, most common comment, uh, you know, had to do with, uh, you know, running the test with no mag, or no magnets in the car. And uh, I don't know what the attitude is uh, with those comments. It's hard to tell online, right? Was it, you know, hey, I'd like to see that test done uh, with no magnets, you know, or was it, oh, yeah, well, try that again with no mags. Send, you know, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, but just kind of the way that I received that was, you know, they're implying that uh, you don't see the full benefits of a urethane tire uh, unless you're running no mag. And so... Well, you know, is there going to be more of a difference between the stock and urethane tires when running with no magnets? I don't know. So, let's find out. Okay, we're going to run the same test we did in the first video. And if, if you haven't seen the first video, I'm going to put a card uh, right up here for a link to that. Uh, but we're going to run the same test, which is... Uh, using these two cars, run the stock tires on them first, switch over the axles uh, to axles that have urethane tires on them, and then run it again and compare the fast lap times. Of course, we're going to take the magnets out first. Now, to get the magnet out of the C63, this is a G5 chassis, so we have to take the lid off, take the motor out in order to get the magnet out from inside. Okay, I, uh, I have the motor out now, and uh, boy, this car could use some cleaning. Uh, but there's a retainer bar in here that holds the magnet in and just pry that up with a flathead screwdriver uh, to re remove the magnet. Then push the magnet out from the bottom side of the car. Now each car actually has two magnets. I'm removing the rear one, that's like the traction magnet. Uh, the one that's closer to the front end of the car, that's not so much for downforce on the rear, but right there to keep the front end in. Uh, otherwise, you take that out, you go into a turn a little too aggressively, uh, you won't even spin out, you'll actually just drive like straight off the track. Now the 911 has a G4 chassis, which is nice because it's easier to swap out the axles, uh, and also you can get to the magnets from the bottom of the car and you don't have to take off the lid to get in there. So you just take off this retainer here with the two screws, pull out the shim, pull out the magnet, and then I'm going to put uh, this retainer back in again so I don't lose it. And just like the Mercedes, I'm going to leave the front magnet in. That way when I go into a turn, the car doesn't just keep going straight off the track like the turn wasn't even there. So we're going to run the C63 first with the stock tires. I trued the tires before running the test. Don't try to do this with a car out of the box. The tires are never in optimal condition when they're brand new. Okay, the C63, after 50 laps, the stock tires had a best of 10.890 seconds. And now I've switched over to the urethanes on the uh, C63. Now regarding the urethane tires on this car, the Paul Gage sizing chart recommends these for the DTMs, which are actually wider than the stock tires, uh, so it's really not uh, a fair comparison. Uh, although, with the first test that I did with magnets, uh, the stock tires actually kept up with the urethanes anyway. And as before, both sets of tires have been true to exactly the same diameter. That way there's no variables in the equation except for the tire compound.
Okay, the C63 with the urethane tires, after 50 laps, we have a best lap of 10.947. Okay, doing the math here, and, well, the Uri fanboys aren't going to like this. Uh, the stock tires were actually faster by, well, not by much, at uh, 0.057 seconds. So that's one half of one tenth of a second, but interesting nonetheless. Let's run the 911 RSR now, stock tires first. And of course, I screwed the tires up before putting it on the track. Okay, the 911 RSR, after 50 laps on stock tires, a best of 11.341 seconds. Let's go ahead and switch over to the urethanes now. Unlike the DTM, the urethanes for the 911 are the same width as the original tires, and therefore it's actually an even test. And, just like the other car, both sets of tires have been chewed down to the same diameter. Okay, after 50 laps on urethanes, the 911 RSR, a best lap of 11.439 seconds. Okay, doing the math now on the Porsche, uh, the stocks again were faster by, well, even by a bigger margin, 0 0.098 seconds. For all intents and purposes, that's a tenth. Okay, boys and girls, what have we learned when it comes to stock versus urethane tires? on a Carrera slot car with no magnets. Uh, well, probably the complete opposite of what many of you were expecting, and I know some people are probably out there going, there's no effing way that that's right. You know, it's, it's rigged, <laughs> it's rigged. It's like, no, no funny business going on here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I expected the urethane tires to uh, just edge out the stock tires, you know, just slightly in the same way, you know, running with magnets. Um, however, the results also don't surprise me either because uh, the stock tires, when they're trued up right, uh, they ain't no joke. Uh, they're actually a pretty sticky compound. Uh, and so, uh, and don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not a urethane hater because I advocate for, you know, using the stock tires. We just use the stock tires while they're still good. And when they go bad, we get urethanes. And that's the issue, biggest issue with the career tires is you just don't know how long they're going to last. It could be a year before they dry up or melt down. It could be five years. Uh, so yeah, we run them while they're good. When it's time for replace them, we buy urethanes uh, and then we run with those. And honestly, the performance between the two is is negligible. It really is. And um, uh, the, the biggest advantage to the urethane tires really is they just don't age so quickly like the stock tires do. You don't have to tune them up every you know month or so uh, because they're you know, changing dimensionally. You know you could take a uh, you know urethane tire, put it on a car, chew it up, sit it on the shelf for two years, and then pull it off the shelf and put it on the track, and it'll probably drive just as well as it did when you put it away. That doesn't that generally happen uh, with the with the uh, Carrera tires. Well, with all that being said, as usual, we hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if not already, and we'll see you at the finish line.